Hey everybody, welcome back for another video. If you're new to my channel, my name is Amber and I make videos on YouTube about reselling clothing on the Poshmark app. In today's video, I have purchased another ThreadUp DIY denim rescue box. This one was 30 pounds, so all the ones I've done in the past have been either 15 or 20 pounds. So this one is even bigger. 30 pounds and I got 31 pairs of jeans that are behind me. I have done six of these Thread Up DIY denim rescue boxes before. If you want to see how the boxes I've gotten in the past have been, I posted a video where I went through all six of the boxes I've got in the past and I talk about what sold from those boxes, what hasn't sold, and then how much profit I made in every box. And then I also gave all the boxes an overall grade from A to F. <laughs> so if you want to see the variety of what you can get in the boxes, definitely go check out that video and I will link it down below. Today's box, I would say, is one of the better boxes I've gotten. So if you guys want to see what I got in today's box, stay tuned. Okay, so like I said, there are 31 pairs of jeans in this box, and the box cost $54, which was $48 plus $6 shipping. I did have a $10 referral, referral from one of you using my referral link, so thank you guys so much for using that link. Every once in a while, I'll get an email saying I got $10 to spend, and... Obviously, it's really nice for me. <laughs> so if you guys have not used ThreadUp before, I will put my referral link down below and you will get $10 off your first purchase if you use that link. Of the 31, 16 of them I will not be listing because the comparable solds were less than $15 and 15 of them I will be listing. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to start with the 16 items I am not listing. These are available for sale to you guys if you are interested in them. So first, we have this little guy. <laughs> this is a pair of kids jeans. It is a size 2T, I think. Yes, size 2T from the brand, I think it's pronounced Circo. I'm assuming that's like Circus. And it's just a little pair of little baby jeans. So the comps weren't very good, as I expected. Usually with kids clothing, they don't have a very high resale value. Next up, we have three pairs of juniors size jeans. So first is a pair of teal jeans from the brand Delia's, Daily. I don't feel like I'm saying this right, Delia's, I don't know, you can see it here, I feel like I'm saying it wrong, but there's the brand and it is a size 7, 8, and again they're a pair of teal denim jeans. So in these boxes you always have to look for flaws because they do say that if they have flawed items they will put them in these boxes. I did look through these and I think I only have one or two items that have flaws and I will note those as I go through. All right, third pair that have a resale value uh, below $15 are these pink skinny button fly jeans from the brand Sapphire Ink in a size nine. Next is a pair from the brand No Boundaries. This one is sold at either Target or Walmart. I always get the two mixed up on which brands are sold at which of those two. But it's sold at one of the two and it is a size 11. There's Lie Wash again, Button Fly, Skinny, Pant Leg. So that was four pairs so far. So fifth was the only item I got in this box that were not jeans or shorts. So it is a J Crew Double Zero Jean Button Up Long Sleeve Shirt. It looks like the J Crew Button Up Chambray or Denim Shirts with the newer tag have better comps. So if this would have had a newer J Crew tag, I probably would be keeping it. But since it's an older tag, it's a smaller size. The comps didn't look as good on this brand, so I decided not to list it. Next, we have a pair of Sound Girl denim. I hadn't heard of this brand, but there are the pockets. They're all blingy and exciting. And here's the tag. It it has come loose, so it's only attached on one side. And these are a size zero. And they are boot cut. So these are like a less expensive version of Miss Me's or True Religion. All right, so this next pair, I'm sure there's going to be people in the comments that say, I can't believe you're not going to list those, but the comps don't look good, and I don't want to spend my time on the item. If you want to do the 2 for 10 or 3 for 15 and resell, no harm. You can go for it. I, I don't care. 
Okay, so it is from Free People and they're in really, really nice condition. They're a pair of red skinny jeans with a raw hem and they are also button fly and they are a size 25. So I'll put the, the comps up on the screen. There was one pair that had sold for $22 but they were brand new with tags. There was another pair that had sold for eight dollars and there was another that said it sold for 20 but in the title it said that was it was in a two for ten dollar sale or sorry a two for twenty dollar sale so it probably sold for ten dollars so with brand new selling for 22 and the two used selling for eight and ten i decided i don't want to take the time to list it in the past i have also free people is kind of hit or miss you have to know you have to really look at the style and make sure that that style is doing well and also colored jeans can be hit or miss too. And so we have two things on this item that make it kind of hit or miss. So yeah, that's why I'm not listing it. Next, we have a pair of Old Navy Boyfriend Straight in size in a size two. So they're Old Navy, raw hem, distressed knees, light wash in a size two. These are my size, I might just keep these for myself, but they're too small for me. <laughs> Next pair is a pair of Michael Kors jeans. This is one that has a flaw. So you can see right next to the pocket, there is a hole. It doesn't go all the way through. It's just like through the first layer. But here are the jeans. They are um, a crop jean and they are a size two. And yeah, the comps don't look very good on them, so I am not going to list them. Next, this one surprised me because some of the jeans, some of the styles of jeans from this brand actually looked pretty good. Although this style was below 15, it was right around that 15 mark and I kind of debated if I wanted to list it, but decided not to. It is the brand Refuge in a size 4. And again, Buttonfly. We kind of have a lot of Buttonfly in this box, but they are like... Well, I would say they're acid wash, but they're definitely not acid wash. So, <laughs> so here are those the jeans, and they are rolled at the bottom. But I think that's just the last owner rolled them because I don't think that they're supposed to be rolled. And they are a skinny jean again, size four. Next is a pair of blue and white striped pants from Zara. And they are a size six. Again, they are a skinny leg with a raw hem. And they are from Zara and they do not have any flaws. Next, we have a pair of jeans from the brand um, Label of Graded Goods. This brand is sold at H&M. They are a size six and they are like a it's like a very odd color, like a dark gray or a light blue. I don't, I don't exactly know what color it is. I guess I would vote on dark gray for them. And they are a skinny jean. Again, these jeans are all nice, just don't have very high, like I don't have a very high expectations of what they could resell for, so I'm not gonna take the time to list them. Okay, so we have four more that I'm not going to list, and then we will get to the 15 that I am going to list. So next up is a pair of Lee Riders mid-rise boot cut and they are size 12P. Again, they are a boot cut and they are from the brand Lee. Next is a pair of black capris from Levi's. They are the modern Capri and they are a size 12. And these are, look like they've never been worn. Again, if these were my size, I would keep these for myself, but those are too big. <laughs> Next we have, oh my gosh, this one gave me a headache. <laughs> I could not find this one. So I'm pretty sure these were originally sold in another country. But I'm kind of confused because some of the tags are in English, but some of them are in Spanish, I think. 
yeah okay so you have one tag that says vintage denim designed and manufactured exclusively for t and s size 36 and then this tag says they're the style nudie n-u-d-y so yeah i couldn't really find any comparables for these so i decided not to list them I think they might be men's jeans since they're 36 or maybe they're just jeans that were sold in another country that used that sizing for women's as well next we have a pair of time and true jeans this brand i believe is sold at walmart they are a size 20. i want to focus there we go they are a size 20. and again they're in really nice condition Looks like they were never worn We have made it through the 16 pairs that I'm not listing, and now we're going to go through the 15 that I am listing. The first 12, I'm expecting to get right around $20. The comps were averaged like $20, so I'm not going to go into much more detail than that on the next 12. And again, I'll put the comps on the screen so you can see what they were, but I'm expecting to sell them for about $20 each. So the next pair of jeans are one from a brand I had never heard of, and two, a junior size. So I did not expect them to have a good resale value, but the comps look pretty good. So they are from the brand Carly Jean Los Angeles, and they are both a junior's size seven. So we have a pair of black skinny jeans from Carly Jean LA size 7 and a pair of blue skinny jeans from the same brand in the same size. In these boxes I almost always get gap jeans and I rarely end up listing them. However, I had two gap jeans in this box that for the specific style I got the comparable sold listings look pretty good. So, I have two pairs of Gap items that I will be listing. The first is a pair of Gap shorts. They are the Sexy Boyfriend short in a size 2. And again, the Carable Sold listings look pretty good. Next is a pair of black Gap jeans. And they are the style The True Skinny. And they are size 27 regular. So that's one thing to keep in mind with jeans. The style can really make a difference on what the what the item will sell for and also how recently that item was sold. So if you have a popular style that is currently in the store, that's the best bet. Next would probably be a popular style that was recently sold within the past couple of years. If you have an item that the style is not popular and it's a really old item, then of course you're going to have a harder time selling it than something that is a popular style. So next up is a pair of white jeans from the brand Blank NYC. There is just a little, like a little gray dot right there. But otherwise, I don't see any flaws. They have this really cool fringe at the bottom. I forgot the name. White Lines or something? I'll put the style name on the screen. Um, but I do plan to list these. Again, they are Blank NYC. They are size 27. These jeans also have this issue where only one side is attached. So we will see how they do. But I think that they're a really cute pair of jeans. I swear I see this brand all the time. I never pick it up. So I did not expect this one to be one I keep. I only kept it when I looked at the comps. The comps look good. So it is the brand Democracy. It's a size 6. And it says Ab Technology, which I don't know if that's the style or if it's just telling you that it's stretchy, like it has an elastic in the waistband. That's what my guess is that that tells you. But they are just a pair of blue skinny jeans with a raw hem. And again, those were a size 6. Next is a pair of silver jeans in the style Santorini. And they are a size 30. All right, so this one is a brand I had not heard of. I think it's probably a boutique brand. Just based on the label, I feel like a lot of the boutique labels look like this. So it is a brand A Loves A in a size 31. And there were only like four solds, if I remember right. And 
Three of them are like 15 to $20 and one sold for 80. So I don't really know exactly what I'm gonna price it at, but they, um, they do have this black and brown stripe down the side and they don't really look like they were ever worn. But again, they're from the brand A Loves A. Next, we have a pair of jeans from the brand Maurice's. Again, usually I get Maurice's and I don't list them. But in this case, the comps looked around $20, so I am going to list them. They are size 20. Again, the brand is Maurice's Premium. They are size 20. And they have these details on the pockets. They don't have any crotch wear. They don't have any hem wear. So hopefully, I'll be able to sell these for around $20. The last three in the $20 section are all from American Eagle. So first we have American Eagle jeans size two, and they are in a high rise skinny style. And they are very dark jean. Again, they are the high rise skinny. Second pair of American Eagle jeans are the style Boho Artist in a size 12 regular. Oh yeah, see when I was looking at the pictures, I was like, does that bottom have that big of a flare? But it does have a, a decent size flare on it. And then the third and final pair of American Eagle jeans are, I believe these are a 10 short if I remember. Let's see, they are American Eagle super high-rise jeggings in a size 10 short. So again, super high-rise jeggings. You can see, you can see that there is a super high-rise, of a very high-rise to them, and they are very skinny. Okay, so we have three pairs of jeans left, and I'm hoping to sell these each for approximately $30. So this is the last tier of the box, which means we didn't have any new with tags mother's jeans like I had in my one box, or anything that was really amazing, but we had a lot of decent stuff. Okay, so, shoot. <laughs> I just remembered this item has a flaw, which I completely forgot about when I was sorting these. Okay, so this one is actually missing the button. So, this one surprised the heck out of me. I did not expect this to be a high resale value brand, but as you can see on the comp from the comps, they are, they do have a pretty good resale value. So the brand Cowgirl Tough Company in the style Don't Fence Me In. I forgot that the button was missing from these, so I don't know if I'll list them. I'm really, really terrible at fixing things, but this is what they look like, and they are a size 33 by 33. That is what the po pockets look, look like. So if I do see this brand when I'm out, I'm going to pick it up and look up the style and see if it's worth it. Because again, the comps on this one look really, really good. And here is the pocket showing cowgirl tough. And two more pairs. So we have a pair of J brand jeans. And this specific style and this color looks pretty good in terms of the comps. They are J brand and they are the Maria style in the color Nightfall and they are a size 27. And they do say in another tag that they are J brand for Nord Nordstrom. And again, they are skinny, almost to a jagging style. And then the final item is an item that is new with tags. It's a pair of white jeans from the brand Lauren Ralph Lauren, and they are a size four petite they are size 4 petite, and they retail for $79.50. So they do have just a little bit of dirt next to the label. Hoping I could wash that off because otherwise they're in really good condition. Okay, so overall, this box didn't have any amazing jeans, but it had a lot of pretty good jeans. So I wrote down three potential scenarios. First scenario, I sell all of the 15 that I'm going to list for $15 each. So in reality, there'll probably be some I don't don't sell. There'll be some I sell for higher prices. But I said, if 
I average about $15 per pair and I sell 15 pairs, how much would I make profit for each item that I took the time to list? So in that situation, I would sell the jeans for a total of $225 minus the $54 that someone would have paid for the box. I only paid $44, but if I didn't have the referral, I would have paid $54. Minus the $45 in fees that Poshmark would take gives you a net profit of $126, which is $8.40 per pair of jeans. Second scenario is that they all sell for $20 because like I said, most of those jeans averaged about 20, so this one seems reasonable. So if I sold those 15 for an average of $20, that would be a gross sales price of $300 minus $54 for the box minus $60 in fees is $186 net profit which would be $12.40 profit per pair. Then the final scenario is the best one. If I were to sell them each for $25, that would be a $375 sales price, minus $54 for the box, minus $75 in fees, would be a $246 profit, or $16.40 per pair. I think this box was a pretty good one. I, it was probably like a, it was probably towards the better end of the boxes I've gotten. Again, before you buy one, go check out my video where I go over six of them I got in a pass so you can see the variety that you might get in a box. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it interesting, subscribe if you haven't, and as always, stay tuned because I'll have a new video out soon.